Water bags cover explosives which have been drilled into this old bridge. A few metres away is a smart new bridge which must not be damaged. The use of water concentrated the explosive forces into the structure of the old bridge and protected the new bridge. John Parks of Dell Explosives worked with us to refine water-based blast containment. Here, at the end of 1999, they're going to knock down a pair of precipitator towers at the old Kincardine power station. They'll use water bags to reduce the required explosives and to confine the effect. Charges have been drilled into the legs on one side of each tower. They've been wrapped with polythene bags. Some straw made them easier to place. The bags are now filled with water and the explosives linked up for detonation. Water has a surprisingly huge capacity to absorb unwanted explosive energy, such as the outward force from demolition charges. The discovery of an unexploded bomb or the demolition of a block of flats may require the evacuation of thousands of people from a large area. By containing a real or a potential blast, water bags greatly reduce the number of people who have to be moved and the amount of collateral damage.